Okay, this is the Sony XM554ZR 600 watt, 400, uh, 4 channel, 4 3 channel amplifier. It was going into uh, protection mode all the time with our speakers. So, this is the other board. So, what I did, I checked that the impedance or the continuity with the uh, voltmeter through all the channels are fine and two of these channels or one of these channels uh, was out so I was tracing the cables or the motherboard connections through here and through here through here then I disconnected these two just to see just to eliminate the problem then I saw uh, so basically one of these was out I took this one out nothing changed I took this little one out which is just over here nothing changed then I put it back then I when I disconnected these two I established that the problem was ending over here in the second one. So I took it out and I checked it again and it was shorting. But this guy is faulty. So I couldn't see any other burns or anything on the motherboard. So I was tracing, tracing and that was the actual problem. There were no connections, all that was fine, it just uh, protection on. So uh, because it's four ramp, uh, sorry, four channel, four three channel. At the moment, I only get uh, these front speakers working with a uh, high output, with a high high frequency output, and this one isn't working, which is the rear speakers. The one can be bridged. So apparently, I think what they did, they bridged it and they uh, burned one of the channels. So. What I can do because you got this is rear obviously and this is front. So what I can do, they all paired and they all the same. I'm sure um so these are number and then you can see now oh yeah one B778 and the other one's D998. So you can take one out of here and put it back in here and yeah, it should all work so if you need this one or if you need this one you take one out from here and you put it back in there which is i am going to do now because this channel can be bridged you can see here it can be bridged uh, and the other one cannot be bridged so Daddy. 600 watt if Daddy. I want to use yeah that's the one so I if you've got the same that. problem you I can you can carry on doing these checks all you'll need is a voltmeter just a simple one if some of the resistance is different that means it could be something else along the line that's why I disconnected some of the I disconnected these things, tried, took them out, and then disconnected some of the connections. I followed the, uh, the track all the way to the transistor from the plus connecting them. So that's how I established one of these wrong, one of these ones. Good luck. So I resolved it, took one out from here, from the front, put one into there, bridged two speakers and now there you go have any uh, burns on the motherboard and 
it turns on but it goes into protection mode so it'll be one of these or one of these but if you check you will get a voltmeter and check from your channel to these on the transistor D998 and D778 B778 and you will your resistance should be the 